Good morning. This is the first time vlogging on my new Canon camera. I will stop going on about it, I promise. Straight after work this evening, I'm getting my eyelashes done. That's kind of why I'm looking a little bit strange this morning. A little bit like an alien because I've got um, just my, <laughs> I've got my natural lashes on. I've just got nothing on my lashes, so they're a little bit invisible. And tonight I'm going to get an eyelash lift and tint. So they tint my lashes so they naturally look like they've got mascara on basically and they curl them so a bit like when you get your eye when you get your curlers your eyelash curlers and use them but they only last a little while whereas this kind of permanently lifts them for a good few weeks i've forgotten exactly how long probably like a month or two depending how depending what you do with your lashes if you keep putting mascara on and keep moving the makeup and keep fiddling with them all the time they probably don't last as long but it, what I find is I try and just not wear any makeup on them for a good week or so because you kind of don't need it which is really nice I like anything that makes you look naturally just like as if they look as if you haven't had them done but you actually have so that's the kind of look I like to go for so I'm getting them done tonight so I will show you what they look like after I've had them done I do have to get off to work right now so I'm going to um, just get my lunch together and what else do I need to do? Yeah just get my bag packed really and get my lunch together. I did make myself some lunch today. I made it yesterday and I made like two servings of it so I made some rice, egg and chicken. So very protein based kind of healthy lunch. I always just get so hungry at work and I just need something to like really fill me up in the day otherwise I go a bit crazy if I haven't eaten properly. Got myself the second serving of that to take to work for me today. Makes it easier, makes me not spend while I'm out and about as well because if I forget my lunch I have to buy it and I end up going to Subway or I end up just, I don't know, buying some sort of junk meal deal or something. This morning I've had a bit of a lazy morning because I came home yesterday from work and I had such a headache and my eyes were achy and I wanted to play a game and relax and I don't know, I was just getting really like, head just I just needed to sleep which was fine because I wanted to relax in the evening and there's nothing wrong with going to sleep early but... I just I wanted to game as well. <laughs> I wanted to just like I wanted to have a bath. I wanted to game, and then I tried to cook myself a baked potato in my new air fryer, and it went completely wrong. It like crisped the outside, which was lovely, but then the inside just wasn't cooked. And then I tried to like stick it in the microwave for a while. I don't know. It was horrible. I ate it in the end, but it just didn't taste very nice. <laughs> so yeah, that was a disaster. I wish I had time for one last cup of tea, but I really don't. So I'm gonna have to get myself ready now, and I'll see you this evening. Good evening, guys. I'm back now, back home after a long day at work, and I've been to get my eyelashes done. They've not lifted as much as. I'd have hoped they would. Sometimes that happens with mine, they just don't lift as much as I want them to. But anyway, you can definitely see that it looks a bit like I've got mascara on. So they've been tinted, um, but they are just my natural lash lashes and they have been lifted a little bit as well. So yeah, definitely just means it's easier. And yeah, when I'm not wearing any make makeup, I don't look, my eyelashes don't look invisible. I don't look like an alien. Not that there's anything wrong with having invisible lashes, but I just like to have a little bit of colour just to make it a little bit nicer. I, I'm really hungry, so I'm going to cook myself some egg on toast because surely I cannot fail at that like I failed at the baked potato last night. So I'm hoping that will will go easily and yeah, I'll be able to have a nice dinner. I'm just really hungry, so I just want the quickest thing to make really that isn't going to go wrong. Apparently I can't cook anymore. Jim's the chef, so... Yeah. I couldn't resist having egg on toast tonight, also because I bought some tiger bread from Asda and I absolutely love tiger bread. It's the tastiest thing ever. I know tiger bread, I know white bread isn't the healthiest thing in the world, but I just, yeah, just gonna treat myself tonight. It's very almost gone wrong already because I kind of forgot that we threw away our toaster the other day. Our toaster was years old full of just old crumbs and things that just couldn't be cleaned out. Um, it just really needed like, yeah, it needed replacing. It wasn't really working very well. Um, and we've just kind of replaced the area with a new air fryer. So that's kind of taken up the area from a toaster. And I thought, do you know what? We don't do toast that often. We'll just use the grill. But I've started my eggs, completely forgot that I didn't have a toaster. So I'm having to heat up the grill and get that going. So, oh, such, a, such a hassle cooking dinner. After work cup of tea is the best moment ever. I'm just gonna sit on the couch now, eat my egg and toast and find something interesting to watch on Netflix. Um, I'm sure there's a few things that I've been looking at that I would like to watch. And obviously I've finished doing the Virgin now, so I'll freeze up my schedule. 
I've been watching that Working Mums. Um, I think, did I just finish that? I think I've finished the second season of that, so that's that done. Um, me and Jim are watching Jessica Jones together, so I can't watch that without him. And yeah, I'm just, I'll find something girly, basically some sort of girly stuff that Jim doesn't want to watch with me. Listen, right, I can explain. I went to go and find something to watch on Netflix and this happened. See, what's wrong with me? I can't cook. I can't actually believe I've just burnt the toast. <sighs> well, good morning. Um, I was supposed to go to my six o'clock workout this morning. I did not go. I kind of decided last night before I even went to sleep. I wasn't gonna go, but I really needed a rest. It's now quarter to nine and I'm just waking up and making a cup of tea. So yeah, that's the kind of morning I'm having at the moment. I have loads of housework to do. I guess I can show you a little bit of the just mess that I have to just tidy up in the kitchen. It's mainly the kitchen that's just kind of, it's just exploded. It just is not, it's not very YouTube friendly at the moment. <laughs> so I'm gonna get tidying that up anyway, um, in a bit, maybe after I've had some breakfast and sat down. I don't know, we shall see. And yeah, I've got a hairdresser's appointment at half past four this afternoon. I do want to do a few things more than just tidy the kitchen around the house as well before I go, but yeah, I might just also take it easy and I might have a bath and just relax and yeah. But you know, might is the word there. We shall see. Merry Christmas, apparently. I didn't even go to sleep for ages last night as well. So I finished that film I was watching. Don't know if I told you what I chose. Secret Obsession and it was brilliant actually. I really, really enjoyed it. It's a little bit scary because I was on my own last night and I was watching it just before going to sleep and I was a little bit like, this is a little bit scary, but it wasn't that bad. Um, I didn't have any nightmares, I don't think, from what I remember, which is always good. I then just browsed my phone for about two hours I was looking for accessories for my bathroom. <laughs> I know that I've already decorated this bathroom about three times over the past couple of years, but I'm craving to decorate it again. The tile wallpaper that I recently used in the kitchen to cover the tiles, I really want to use in the bathroom. So I want to do that, but they're quite a dark gray. And my bathroom's already half white and half dark gray and i don't want there to be too much dark gray so i'm thinking i paint it the same color as i painted the lounge walls and the hallway this like taup color so i might do that i'm kind of craving doing that but also the white accessories that i've used they're just like cheap ones from argos that i mean i don't want to buy expensive ones obviously but they're cheap ones from argos that just i'm thinking i don't want white i'm thinking i want black like a matte black kind of accessories so the towel rail and the toilet roll holder and things I want to be matte black and I found some on Argos but then I was just browsing the internet for hours just thinking what else could I get what could I get a cabinet could I get an under the sink thing could I get this could I get that oh I need to change the mirror and I just spent ages trying to come up with ideas and like the cheapest way to update my bathroom to what I want it to be so yeah, I spent ages doing that and then I started spending ages trying to look for an outdoor rug specifically for use in my hallway not for outside because my hallway rug I bought from Argos a while ago when we when we first kind of yeah put the flooring down in the hall I wanted a rug there and it's a it's a lovely rug but it's quite pale in colour and because it's a, the kind of point where everybody walks through the hallway there's only me and Jim who's here but when we have friends and stuff it is one of those <laughs> See, we do it ourselves, we tell people to take their shoes off, but it's kind of the area that you're going to take your shoes off and leave your shoes on top of, so it kind of just, like, it's pointless for that rug purpose, that, that rug just gets ruined anyway. And then we do it ourselves, we try not to, but then sometimes you've just got to, you've already put your shoes on, you need to run and get something else from the house, so you do run through. So I try not to, but it just happens, and that area is getting a little bit dirty, the rug is just looking a bit not not as white as it was the section that was white so i think i need to replace it now i looked online for suggestions of well i looked to find rugs and somehow i came up with this idea that an outdoor rug is a really good idea to use in your hallway in high traffic areas because it's wipeable and things like that i don't i can't like picture exactly what it's going to look like i've looked at thousands of pictures but i'm like is this going to look odd is this going to look nice is it going to be 
I don't know but it's not like I've got a really really fluffy rug in there anyway it's just a kind of really thin rug anyway so I don't think I'll notice that much of a difference apart from the fact it'll be easy to clean so we shall see but I spent hours and hours doing that I didn't even buy anything because I thought I spent so much on this camera this month I probably shouldn't be investing in other things for the house and things so I might have to kind of cut the spending and just take note of all these things that I've thought about for the house but maybe not do them just yet but yeah we'll see So this looks a little bit better. All I've done is turn the rug over um, because the other side, I don't know whether I can show you, was getting really filthy. Look at the difference. Hang on. Look at that. Now I don't know whether that's just us walking all over it or whether I, I did try to clean it a while ago with some, I don't know what solution I used, something and I don't know whether I just made it worse rather than better but the difference between that and that is ridiculous. So. That looks completely different to it, to how it looked earlier. So that's what I did. All I had to do is cut a little label off that was hanging out over here. And then you can't tell that it's upside down. It's one o'clock already. All I've really done today is done a little bit of housework and I've still got the washing up to do, even though I feel like I've been doing stuff for ages. But I have also sat down and started watching another film, A Simple Favour, and I wanted to see it when it was in the cinema. Um, but I missed it for some reason. But really good actually, I'm about halfway through, but I think I need to start getting ready because as I say, my hairdresser appointment's about half four and I just need to get myself organised. What do I need to do? Oh yeah, I'm gonna put a chicken in the slow cooker. So I'm gonna go and do that now. I've been, I was supposed to put this in the slow cooker this morning, but I just didn't get around to it. So I'm going to leave that for, well, if it's one now, I can still leave it for, might even leave it for like six or seven hours. I think I've still got plenty of time to just leave it and have a late dinner anyway, so it should be fine. So I'm gonna get cracking with that now. watering now because I'm cutting the onion but I've just put I've just put the chicken in um it's the first time trying to cook a whole chicken in the oven so I don't really know how it'll turn out but hopefully nice I've just layered the bottom with some potatoes and some onion because that's what some recipe online told me to do it literally said you have to like raise the chicken up a little bit by putting something in there so I don't know if we're gonna actually eat them I don't know we'll see how they come out when they're done I've done some washing and that is Flying on the little clothes horse there because I feel like today is forecast rain even though it hasn't rained yet I just feel like I thought it was going to so I haven't put it outside but it could have done with going out probably you just, I just don't want to take the risk basically of doing it and then having to rewash it again if it gets soaked outside I'm going to actually be doing a video purely about getting my hair done so that will be going up after this one I think so I'm gonna have to do eating my hair i'm gonna have to start doing a few shots for that just to kind of do an intro to that video and show my disgusting hair that really needs sorting out today <laughs> um it's just disgusting because i haven't washed it for a couple of days that's all i am growing my roots out they're about this much grown out at the moment and i just kind of want a method i want him to do something that kind of breaks up this growing out blonde look so i just it's been it has so many highlights in i just want it to look a little bit more natural as it grows out so i don't know we're going to try a few different things check out the video that i do <laughs> and obviously you'll see me later on in this vlog anyway with my new hair because you'll see me on the other days i'm vlogging good enough for you now because man. I've just banned Jim from being in my professional looking <gasps> hairdressing one. I think she's casting a more handsome person. But you one. are just, you are just being in my vlog. right over thing. that one. Anyway, no, 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 no. Why does your bike feel weird? What's this? Turn around. <laughs> oh, how weird. Do you feel it? Feel that? It's not his actual back, guys. It's just his, feel his t-shirt. T-shirt's gone bobbly. For fuck's sake. Anyway, sorry. Anyway, back to this. I've just got back from the hairdressers and Jim, you have turned the slow cooker up to high, haven't you? So yeah. the chicken really, really cooks. My hair's still wet, by the way. Is this going to be a new thing for the vlog, by the way? 
Go on. There's just always going to be something cooking. Yeah, slow cooker. Updates on it. I think my channel Miss Slow Cooker Moogle is what my name should now be called. Anyway, do you like my hair? I know it's not completely finished because it's not dry, but yes. I mean, I've, we've just done this off camera, but I'll, I'll recreate it now. Yeah, it looks really nice. I like how it's done. He speaks weirdly. I don't know what yeah. it is. He's got a strange. Strange tone. Who's this little guy? Who's this little guy you've got in your pocket? Uh, oh, my, oh, see what you did there. Um, yeah, I really like drying my hair actually, so that's why it's left dry naturally. But the blonde has definitely been broken up. Broken up the blonde, it looks a bit more natural. Anyway, who's this little guy? This is. I can't remember his name. <gasps> Prince something. Well, this is awkward. Big yeah. fan, are you? It's fr I don't actually play the game. <laughs> Jim doesn't normally do this when he hasn't played a game. No, it was yeah, a really cheap t-shirt t-shirt and I, I, I know the game's going to be good. It's it's called Katamari Darmacy. I said that really weird. Katamari Darmacy. Katamari Darmacy. And I'm, I'm going to get around to playing it eventually. But it was really cheap. And it'd be annoying if I played the game. I was like, oh, this was a good game. Should have bought that t-shirt. But didn't. And it was really it'd cheap. It'd be really annoying so if it hasn't been shit. And it's just good. nice. Whatever. <laughs> There we go. Anyway, like yeah. thanks, Jim. Yeah, make me that tea. Vlog, vlog. What are you doing, Jim? Um, make me the chips. The famous chips. These are your famous chips. Ah! Why do I keep doing that? I keep putting my elbow on the slow cooker. It's like that fucking joke from uh, <laughs> development. Which the one? Cornwall, the what? Oh, I don't that. remember. <laughs> I never remember anything. <laughs> Oh. Just on it. Yeah, I just keep walking up to it and like touching. Are you like touching it accidentally. Touching my you, elbow. Like... <laughs> no, I just literally caught it by the edge of my so... elbow. Anyway, Jim, let's see your famous chips without yeah, famous chips. Them. Apparently, they no, are. No, so you have seasoned them with. It sounded like you. Jesus, it sounded like you were gonna finish it then. No. Nope. Um, mixed herbs. Yep. Chinese spice. Other such. Oh, secret ingredients. Secret ones, guys. Colonel Jim's secret <laughs> seasoning. Okay, you should go on Dragon's Den with that. Um, yeah, yeah, because that's where they go. It's still a thing, Talk isn't it? About chips. Shh. A special seasoning. You know what I mean? Just get on with the chips. Right. What are you going to do now? Um, I'm gonna stick them, stick them in the air fryer. How long do you put them in for? 15 minutes. Okay, do you feel like you're being interviewed or something? What's wrong? David's way, it's very like aggressive. Okay. And the cam like the proper camera in my face. Oh, is it because it's the proper it's camera? So, is it no, different no, it's now? Not, it was just so you were so close to my face. Oh, you're quite far away though. Now, because you've backed oh. off, but originally you were like, fucking tell me! <laughs> I felt like I was being fucking interrogated by Al Qaeda. Wow. Um, That's intense. So the the chicken is almost done. Okay. I'll carve. Oh yeah. Grill. Yeah. What were you saying? I'll carve it. Okay. Um, I think we'll grill it. Okay. To get the skin nice and crispy, and then yeah, chips. Hello. Today it's after work, and I decided that I wasn't going to go for a run this evening, and I was going to save that till tomorrow morning, I think, because the weather's atrocious. But. Jim wants an Indian tonight because it was our fifth year anniversary yesterday. We didn't even get to see each other the entire day. So tonight we're going to treat ourselves to an Indian. But I feel like I need to go for a run before I allow myself to enjoy that Indian. So that's what I'm going to go and do now. <laughs> so I hope I can kind of wake myself up for this. I'll see you when I get back. Hey, I thought you might appreciate seeing my beautiful um, sweaty run face. I thought that might be nice for you. I just did 4K, it took me about 30 minutes. I just needed to get back into it because I haven't been for a run for about a week. It sounds like a, it doesn't sound like a long time, but I really, I just, I need to get back into it because I've entered a 10K in October, so I've got a few months to kind of <laughs> train for that. I have done 10K once. I ran it um, last month, so I know I can do it. It's just that I still need to be at the top of my game to be able to do it because it is like the maximum I can possibly run ever. I feel. Um, so yeah, I'm going to dive in the shower now and have a nice relaxing evening with Jim. Jim's here, aren't you, Jim? I am here. Aren't I, Jim? Yay, hey, Jim. Hello. Oh, you won't touch me, I'm a bit sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> mm, not very pleasant. I know, sorry. Put some of my sweat. That's disgusting. <laughs> Don't do that, cat. What are you doing? 
What am I doing? Hi, you know a nice evening with me? I mean, yeah, Happy hopefully. five year anniversary. She's been mental today. Have I? Yeah. Oh yeah, I wasn't going to go for a run either, was I? No, she said, oh, <laughs> I feel a bit, ugh, I'm not going to go for a run. And then I was like, okay then. And then, inevitably, mm. an hour later. Yeah, I was just wanted to get out of the way. The weather wasn't even that atrocious in the end. It was atrocious. fine. Atrocious. I was, I knew that would because I used that word before. Um, it didn't rain on me. Good. And it was boiling. Oh, not good. <sighs> yeah, that's it. You smell good. Thank you. I'm gonna go make my sma my my smear <laughs> myself smell good now. <laughs> and we're gonna have an Indian tonight. Yes. Have you had a nice five years with me, Jim? Yeah. <laughs> Just like yeah. Not bad. It's been away, isn't it? It's been away. Why is there an awkward silence after me saying that? Uh, what? It's been good. It's a bit weird if you ask me. I don't know why I agree to these things. Last night it seemed like a really good idea. Me and my friend decided to do yoga this morning and usually we go for about nine o'clock or something and we just decided we've both got a really busy day so she's gonna come around at eight o'clock. It's literally like two minutes to eight at the moment. So I am in my gym gear all ready to do a little bit of yoga. I'll just get my yoga mat out. Alexa, stop. Stop everything. <laughs> We're having fun with Alexa. You tried to add, what did you just try to add? Potatoes. And then it added gapers to the shopping list. And then you the said, please get rid of. Gapers. And then it says, you don't have diapers on the <laughs> shopping list. It's good fun. Alexa fun. It's mostly fun good. Times. Sometimes. <laughs> what are we up to? I've done my yoga. Yes. Done my yoga. You decided not to join me. I don't know why. Don't fancy it. No. It was 38 minutes long and it was hell. And I was sweaty. But anyway, I've showered now and got myself dressed. This is what I am wearing. What are you wearing, Jim? Do a fashion report. Top. Jeans. Booties. Top. <laughs> Jeans. Bare feet. I'm not going out with bare feet, clearly. Um, we're just going to go off to Aldi, aren't we? You didn't get a very good night's sleep last night, did you, Jim? No. But we're going out any anyway. I'm dragging you out to Borson for no reason, really. I just want to browse. Ulterior motives. She's seen something. <laughs> no, I haven't. Like she hasn't. <laughs> I actually haven't. I just want to go and browse. They have a home sense, which I like. Looking around. You can go elsewhere while I do that if you like <laughs> So we're just making a shopping list. We're going to go to Aldi first and we're going to treat ourselves to a Subway breakfast. Yes. Because we're just that wild this Sunday, this fine Sunday. Just feeling wild. Do you want to add anything? No, not <laughs>
normally. If the knife works, I'll cut it back. Don't cut it down. Right. Happy? Okay. I've never seen a woman cook like that. Uh, cut like really? Yeah. What do you do? <laughs> I cut it down the half, yeah. then cut it down half again. Oh. And cut it like that, so it I cut the whole thing like it's right. when it's big. Okay. Oh, you might, you might yeah. have to show me what I you do because I've always done like that. that, yeah. So, say I've cut yeah. that in half, yeah. turn it like that, cut it down half yeah. like that. I'm and on track, then, yeah, yeah. That's none of that makes sense. That's probably easier. I just, it's just, yeah, not what I've always done at all. Oh, I'm crying. I'm crying. So am I. That was. See you on that terrible How dare you? onion chip. How dare you? Leave the camera. The camera's in an awful position now and it's just filming inside my fridge. This is our fridge. I'll see you. <laughs>